Are you interested in and are looking for a single board computer? You can check out the Radza X4 single board computer. This page comes directly from the source radxa.com and this is the Rads Rads Rad XA <laughs> the 4 X4. Now it does have a Raspberry Pi microcontroller. It's credit card sized. It's a single board computer. It is basically I don't know if it's a competitor a Raspberry Pi because it actually has a Raspberry Pi microcontroller on board. It might be I'm not 100% sure, you know what I'm saying? It does include the Intel N100 chipset and the Raspberry Pi 2040 inside, which that 2040 is actually a microcontroller. Okay, this is an image and it has the Intel Alder Lake N chip. It supports Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6. It supports dynamic data rate version 5 memory and the 40 pin header, the Raspberry Pi 40 pin header. So this is some information pertaining to the Alder Lake, but I'm going to click on technical specifications and then I'm going to go over as many of the technical specifications as I can. You know what I'm saying? So here's some more images. Uh, remember, it's a single board computer. You know, it's designed as usage for a single board. You, Yeah, you could probably find a, a case for it, but a lot of people may not. It's basically similar to the Raspberry Pis. You know what I'm saying? It has a 40-pin header. It has an M2 M key connector for M2230 NVMe solid state drives for that's so that's for storage. The boot selector button for the Raspberry Pi 240 microcontroller again redundant it supports Wi-Fi 5 and 6 it includes a power button now now it says that it is not soldered but it does support the storage type known as EMMC which is a they look like computer chips they, they're going to look more... Now, this is not technically an EMMC, but this is a hard drive, you know, though it looks like a memory module, you know what I'm saying? But, it's, but it is not soldered, you know what I'm saying, on, onto the board. It does support Universal Serial Bus Type-C. It has a power input header. It has two micro high-definition multimedia interfaces that supports 4K. It does have the Raspberry Pi 240 microcontroller. It has a another type of header it supports 2.5 gigabit ethernet port it has two it supports two well it actually has on board yeah that's a physical connector on the right hand side it does have a physical 2.5 gigabit ethernet port so that's the, type, the amount of bandwidth that it supports it also has two universal serial bus 3.2 type a ports and one Universal Serial Bus 2.0 Type-A port and one Universal Serial Bus 3.2 Type-A. It does not, now it does support, oh my bad, that was actually a port. It does have one Universal Serial Bus Type-C port, a physical port, and it also has a power input header and then it does support, oh it does have two micro high definition multimedia interface ports up to 4k okay so those are actually soldered onto the board all right now now this is fascinating it has a headphone jack with microphone input so that means it's duplex also known as combo nation which means it allows input and output you could connect speakers to it for output you could also connect May like a microphone to it or even connect it to a mixer board and then you'll be able to have input audio. It does have a fan header and a real-time clock battery. It's, excuse me. And it has the dynamic data rate 5 memory. And then the Intel processor N100 and a flash for a basic input-output system. So it looks like the basic input-output system is flashable I think. Here's some more technical specifications. I have about the number three, three minutes. 
Yeah, the Intel processor is the N100. It's also known as Alder Lake N. You could look that up. It has four cores, so it's a quad core. It has four total threads. I don't get into turbo or boost mode. It has six megabytes of smart cache. It has Gaussian and Neural Accelerator version 3. Image processing unit 6. And it does support, wow, it does support virtualization technology so that you could install like VirtualBox. So you could use a virtual operating system. And software like VirtualBox requires virtualization. So it does have that support. I believe you just go into the BIOS and enable it if it's not already enabled. Okay. Now the graphics processing unit, it has integrated ultra high definition graphics by Intel. The frequency is 750 megahertz. It does support DirectX 12.1. It also supports OpenGL 4.6 and it supports OpenCL version 3. Now the random access memory, it is the type dynamic data rate 5, but the LP. And the maximum frequency, I believe, would kind of be like, call, you know, referring to it as clock cycles or speed, is 4800. It supports 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, and up to 16 gigabytes. The motherboard does. 16 gigabytes, well, it depends on what you're using. These single boards, you may not want to. Yeah, you could run certain operating systems, you know what I'm saying. You know, but 16 gigabytes depends on what kind of operating system you're. You're, you're probably not gonna <laughs> use this to live stream, like heavy computing, you know, video gaming. So 16 gigabytes, that's not too bad. Okay, the storage, it has an optional onboard EMMC. And the BIOS, I believe, the basic input output system is flashable. What else? It supports one M2 key connector and also PCI Express version 3, 4 lane for the M2, 2230, NVMe type solid state drives storage. It has two display outputs, and that is the high definition multimedia interface. They are micro sized, they support 4K, 60 frames per second. And this is redundant now. I have about 20 seconds remaining. 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, wireless connectivity. We This is redundant. Universal serial bus ports. What about audio? Does it have Bluetooth or anything like that? It may not. Uh, it has a power button, software. Yeah, it does support Linux. Power requirements. Let me quickly search for Bluetooth. No. It might that is this video pertaining to this Radska Rad XA <laughs> X4 single board computer. Adios.